Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's your boy Pack, and I'm back with another update in the Moissanite streets. It's kind of extra today because my blinds and the people working outside, but we're just going we're gonna to get this show on the road. Basically, going on in this uh, week's in the Moissanite streets is going to be TJ World 425. He went out to Miami uh, with TRJC to uh, do some expose type work with them. Check out the Diamond District out there, shoot some things, compare some watches, you know, have a great time and get used to the new team that he's going to be working with. As far as I understand it, he is definitely going to be part of the media and um, photography part of the TRJC crew. If I'm not correct, please let me know in the comments. Um, but that was my understanding. So this week uh, he uh, went out there to uh, Miami with them to do some things. Um, He's a small YouTuber compared to like the company that he's working for. So he's definitely going to be making a lot of big moves with them. He's going to be traveling a lot with them. I think they said the next uh, location is going to be Houston, Texas. So they go out there. They um, basically take jewelry to whatever celebrity client they may have. Um, exposés, different vending type deals, basically trying to get their name out there, get the company out there, do that, this, that, and the third. Um, so shout out to them you can check out all the content from this last week in tj's world um on on his channel um as far as companies and 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 being small and getting big we uh see mcr king and glizzy glizzy's reviews uh definitely taking off they got their website up they got a couple items on there they're adding items slowly go check them out they got some good prices they're not breaking anybody's backs i'm pretty sure they might be in tj's um ebook if you don't know about the ebook go hit up tj's world and get that ebook it's got a lot of vendors got a lot of information got a lot of things that you may want or need to know about moise night where it comes from and who has the best prices um as far as any of the other channels that i follow and like to report on i see that jewelry from a distance you know from a distance jewelry he's definitely come back you know what i'm saying he still's got his um I think it's SMP pigmentation hair loss, hair growth or something like that. But anyways, he's uh stepped out of that for a little bit and posted some new uh chains. Uh, I think it was like the anchor chain or something close to that, something, you know, type chains. It was uh I think it wasn't like centered around bodybuilding, but something bodybuilders definitely would like to wear cuz it's got like a nice bigger chain i don't know anyways go check out his channel he's been popping over there brandon suarez you know he, he's been popping urban gear man they, they've been popping the way they've been popping um i guess really there's not too much that's been going on in the moist nice streets here i got a couple um reviews coming myself um i got some things coming in the mail i got some things i want to uh review here just putting that together you know what i'm saying I'm trying to give you guys at least one review um one of the moise nice street updates every week that way i can have some type of consistency there and then i can start filling it in filling it in filling it in um other than that i would say some concerning things that i um noticed in the moise nice streets that are happening behind the scenes that most people probably know about but don't really want to say nothing about it because of the bridges that can be burnt and the ties that can be lost but before i get to that i also want to say um everybody go over their head over to uh balti max's youtube channel he's got a uh, giveaway going on i guess he's got a different type of giveaway going on this time he's not doing the uh like the channel and the video subscribe type deal this time he's doing more of a first second and third place winners thing i think so go check that out. It's free giveaway. He's always giving out stuff. It takes about two weeks for the, for from start to finish, and then he'll announce the winners. I've won. I'm gonna do a giveaway. It's gonna be um, a rope chain, definitely. I got some other items going in there. Small travel jewelry box and like a little tripod for recording and stuff. So you know, I got like my little giveaway going on as well. 100 subscribers, just that and a third. I'm going to put that video out. I'm pretty sure you guys know the spiel about that. But um, back to what I was saying about the uh, shady business in here. Um, I noticed way, way back when, uh, a couple months ago, but it really solidified when Cuba No put out his why video. 
Um, if anybody knows anything about the Y video, they can understand and follow the guidelines of what's going on. Not with that specific company he was talking about, but just companies in general. Um, I'm pretty small as a YouTube channel, as everybody probably knows, and it, it's like really hard for you know a person like me that you know small channel, no money, you know this that, and the third. So you start reaching out to these people, this that, and the third, uh, third, trying to get like some type of you know. Basically, not like a commission or like affiliate, but like basically, you know, trying to see if you can promote them and still make content at the same time and uh, also preserve your pockets in a, in a, in a um, matter of speaking. So, you know, you do that and then they turn you down or they say, no, they don't want to work with you or this, that and the third. And then two, three months go by, a year go by, and they see that you're getting some traction or the people that you're hanging around are of some traction or movement or motion or whatever y'all want to call that word that is, you know, you know, some friction, whatever. And they try to come back and act like they weren't turning you down, talking about some, no, nah, man, I can't work with you. I'll give you a 25% off code though. But like, now that you see that you can actually get sales coming into me, you know what I'm saying? I'm you know, go visit this place, go visit that place. And, you know, I'm, I'm making money for your, your company or I'm making money for other companies and you see it happen and you're like, yeah, okay. So now I'm ready to work with you. That leaves me in a weird place. Cause now I'm like, do I do this for the work or do I do this because I want to, or do I do it because, you know, I did want to, but things changed or is it just business now? Or I don't know. There's a lot of shady things going on with these companies I wouldn't say too, too bad, but it's not a lot of straightforward and transparency. If you're going to tell somebody that you're going to do something with them or you're going to tell them not, you know what I'm saying? Or if you plan on doing it in the future, you should let these people know. You should keep them updated that way. They don't go around ready to basically slander your name as a company or people that are doing anything because it'll burn bridges. You know what I'm saying? It'll... It'll sever ties, it'll make waters murky, it'll make tension in the room, the elephant, whatever you want to word it. And basically, all I want is basic, just basic transparency. I know a lot of these companies do different things with a lot of these different YouTubers. Shout out those different YouTubers and stuff. But here over in my space, I've noticed, I sat back and I could see things that correspond with certain things like uh for example tj and trjc has been doing the custom aftermarket watches you know it's got that name on there now you can go check them out they're doing you know payment plans you can put a deposit on that but you can get you that watch that you've been working about you know what i'm saying without it having some different logo on it that nobody's known you know you get that real deal type aftermarket type watch and I sit back and I watch them doing that and stuff. And I see other people coming out with watches. And they're coming out with deals for watches. And other people showing off their watches. And even Cuba, like, I'm going to call him out for, like, in the spotlight. Because he's the only one that's done that. And I'm not going to say it corresponds with it. But I see that for some odd coincidence or reason, he dropped a video on a prong Cuban link. The same time that TJ's World was reviewing, like, the real like labeled aftermarket watches and I'm like so not only is the game changing like you got to step up your your swag you know what I'm saying so I, I've just basically just been seeing um TJ's been in the, the the watch space for a little bit this week uh Q has been in the more authentic like this is what it is type deal and you can't get around it like you know talking about the files profile the different ways they make it they the plates on top with the, the Cuban prongs and stuff like it's getting official out here. So we're going to need like the, the companies to either jump board or, you know, understand where their places are in, in, in the marketing. But basically they're not running a, in a full circle. It's like um, someone will see something, then they'll go and it'll correspond basically. So uh, TJ World was doing aftermarket watches. A drops a watch deal. But the the shady part about that is, is if you know TJ's doing aftermarket watches and you're going to do watches too as a company, wouldn't it be a great business move to send your newest watch to the guy doing the aftermarket watches versus dude that just support channel? You know what I'm saying? 
And I don't know. That's none of my business. I'm not within any of those dealings. Like I said, I just sit back and I see it. I see it. I see it. And I'm just like, do I want to get involved in any of these companies or any of those type dealings or anything just so I can get some traction or start a controvert? Like, I don't, I don't really want to do that. I'm moving more in the in in the same way that like Cuba No did. Like, I really don't want to get too attached to these companies. I don't want it to seem like I'm working for them. I don't want it to seem like, you know what I'm saying? But also, I'm not not I'm I'm still open to working with these people as long as the business can be done straightforward, you know what I'm saying? But as the weeks go on, we'll we'll figure that out. Uh, you know, it's been your boy Peck here with the update in the Moisonite streets. And like, comment, subscribe, share. If you got any comments, you know, definitely leave those in the section. Um if I missed anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Um Yeah, stay tuned.